So John Armit, thanks for joining me here at, at uh, tomorrow's Royal Conference. Um, we have heard a lot today, and in fact we heard uh, a, a lot last week about, around the, the way that you know, the investment in infrastructure really is being in, uh, appreciated by the politicians now as a way to grow the economic, uh, uh, growth, uh, economic situation in the, in the country. Do you think that we are actually making that case to the public, so that we actually take those ambitions to make them uh, deliverable? No, I think that's one of the biggest challenges for engineers and the whole engineering community, the transport community, is to be more effective at helping people understand um, why we need to do things and the consequences of not doing things yeah. and, in a sense, what the choices are. Uh, and, you know, the, if you don't want to spend very much money, then you don't get very much. Yeah. Uh, but people need to understand that. And, it's a long-term... It's, yeah. it's a long-term... Uh, it's a long-term sale, yeah. and, it, and it's one which, at the moment in the UK, uh, we classically rely on crisis. Mm. I mean, we had a very good example just now with Mike Brown, who said that uh, next year uh, the trains, some of the trains won't stop at Clapham, yeah. and that'll be the moment yeah. to tell the politicians, look, we've got a problem. Well, isn't it rather sad that we have to wait for that crisis, and the politicians will then appreciate the crisis, mm. and then, oh, yeah, cry, yeah. we need to do something. But of course, one of the, one of the things you were trying to do uh, earlier in the year last year was uh, come up with, a, uh, I suppose, a more coherent way of planning, uh, and actually getting uh, politicians behind uh, a programme of infrastructure, the National Infrastructure Commission, yeah. That really hasn't worked. That hasn't happened. Where are we now with it? Well, will, there I think, be a son of, will there be a son of National Infrastructure Commission? Well, I think there are different ways of skinning the cat. And I think one of the things we have to do is use... I, I find it hard to believe that government, uh, treasury and departments are not interested in understanding and wanting to look forward at these long-term needs. So I think it's a question of how we collectively um, can actually address that and continue to put um, put the case in front of politicians and give them the evidence right, yeah. um, as to why we need to, as, as to what the long-term needs yeah. actually are going to be. So it's being sort of, um, uh, some, have some, some of the red wash taken off of it? Is it, is it being, uh, I suppose, depoliticised? Well, uh, it, it's, there's no shortage of people who want to uh, who want this to happen. Yeah. You know, you've got industry, you've got CBI, you've got EEF, uh, you've got all the different transport bodies, uh, you've got the LEPs, yeah. you've got the Northern Powerhouse. There's no shortage of people no, no, no. saying, let's have a long-term view. So what we need to do is try and coalesce okay. that, uh, that view. Meanwhile, though, uh, with all this, uh, the, you know, the motivation behind infrastructure investment, we had problems with network rail. To what extent does that, does that kind of problem sort of undermine a lot of the confidence that we've built up in politicians that we can deliver infrastructure, that we're capable of that? It's the classic case, isn't it? You can do nine things right, right and then you do one thing wrong, and then all of a sudden the one gets uh, used as the example. Mm -hmm. And I think the difficulty, you know, I feel quite sorry for network rail, that you know, you've, they've had a difficult six months or, or so this year and all of a sudden uh, the confidence starts to, uh, uh, they start to lose the political confidence. Yeah. Uh, clearly that needs to be rebuilt. Uh, but uh, I think again we need to make sure that we're telling and demonstrating all the good things that are happening yeah. uh, as, rather than just allowing people to pick on one or two weak, uh, weak projects. And you take over as president of the ICE later on in the year, uh, what's, is there a role for organisations like the ICE, like the ACE to try to drive that message? Home? Well I think it's a role for engineers isn't it and for the ICE and so it's a role for engineers and the ICE to be banging the drum uh, and to be reminding again people of uh, of their role, what they have to what they have to contribute, and how engineers, in fact, uh, can can and should be, and the ICE should be uh, influencing the thinking, influencing the policy, and using that horrible phrase, you know, being thought leaders yeah, yeah. Uh, in this whole space. Biggest challenges going forward. I mean, we're here talking about railways, and network rail has clearly got some big challenges. But what do you see the big challenges going forward? Well, the, the immediate uh, the immediate challenge is for the government to actually look at the recommendation from Howard uh, Davis and uh, decide what they're going to do about it. Right. Uh, Specifically around airports, yeah, and, and, and then a bit around the railways. Where yeah. Well, and the railways, um, we've got high speed two. High speed two um, needs to it needs to retain its momentum. I think it will. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and um, the again, we need to build the confidence in, yeah. in politicians yeah. that this is going to be built as efficiently and as effectively as possible, and isn't going to cost too much. But you see, at the moment, HS two sits outside of um, outside of network rail. Yeah. And when you look at how some other countries do these things, there's much greater integration between the nas existing national railway and the new schemes yeah. 
And I think we need, there's always a danger that the new scheme sort of sits in isolation, whereas to be really effective, it needs to be properly integrated with the existing railway. Well, there's a thought to discuss. Thanks for joining us, Sir John. No, Thanks. Thank you.